Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, we are going to be seeing which emulator runs PUBG Mobile the best. Is it going to be the new Tencent Gaming Buddy that is created by the developers of PUBG Mobile, or is it going to be Bluestacks Free? Well, I don't know the answer yet, but please comment below with your guess of which emulator you reckon is going to win. I have got both settings on the two emulators set to the same. If I just open up the settings now on Bluestacks, just to show you what we are running, I am going to be running 1920 by 1080 for the resolution, and we are running 240 DPI. If we go down to our engine, we are running OpenGL, and we are using four CPU cores, and we are using two gig of memory. And if we go over to our 10 cent gaming buddy, and go on to settings and now engine. We're using OpenGL again and we have all these options here ticked. These options here reckon they help improve stuttering and lag within the game. So it will be interesting to see how much better that makes the game run compared to blue stacks. We also have two gig memory enabled four calls for our processor and we also have 1920 by 1080 resolution and we are running 240 dpi right it is now time to jump into the two emulators to see just how well each one performs i will be using msi afterburner for the fps overlay before we jump into game, I just wanted to show you what graphic settings we are using for PUBG. And as you can see, both the settings are on HD. The style is set to realistic and our frame rate is set to high. We also have auto adjust graphics set to disabled. And that is it. It is now time to see which emulator runs PUBG Mobile the best. <laughs> And there you have it, that is how both emulators performed. As you could tell, Bluestacks did a lot better when it come down to the frames per second and actually having no lag because Tencent Gaming Buddy did glitch a few times. But I did find the controls in Tencent Gaming Buddy a lot better. And for that, I do actually recommend Tencent Gaming Buddy over Bluestacks. I know Bluestacks did, like I said, 
keep 30 frames per second throughout pretty much but I would much rather choose lower frames per second but have a smoother control set than actually having glitchy controls in blue stacks but that is what I think Anyway, comment below, let me know what you all think, and I hope this video did help. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.